next session. So our next speaker is uh, Ms. Arpita. Uh, she will be giving our view on current fault binder testing protocol practiced in India and uh, what is the way forward uh, like our uh, agencies, concern agencies uh, uh, taking care for that. So uh, way forward also she will be discussing. So uh, Ms. Arpita is actually she is uh, currently pursuing her uh, doctoral program at IIT Bombay under the supervision of Professor Singh and her uh, particular uh, her, her research interest is actually the aging of small binder and mixes and prior to joining IIT Bombay as a doctoral uh, student she completed her master's from NIT Rahul Kera. Uh, with this short introduction uh, now I will hand over the floor to Ms. Sharpita. Over to Arpita. Uh, th uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Pravin, for the introduction. Uh, a, a very good evening to the, all the participants. In this presentation, we are going to see how Asmal Binder is characterized as, as per Indian standards and uh, how we are uh, how how many types of Asmal Binders we are using in road construction. In this presentation, sometimes I will be using the term bitumen instead of asphalt. Both have the same terminology for this presentation. Uh, let us see what is the crude oil demand of the of India. India is the third largest crude oil importer and import imports 84% uh, of crude oil requirement from across the globe. In the flow chart, you can see the different sources from where India is importing the crude oil, Iraq and Saudi Arabia being the major sources for import. For refining the crude oils, we have different refi refineries all across India. We have 18 public sector and five private sector refineries all over India, and most of them are producing bitumen. However, because of such a vast highway network and so many undergoing projects on national level, we have very high consumption of bitumen in India. In the year 2021, India has consumed approximately 7.118 mmt that is million metric ton of bitumen in the in the bitumen consumption india is producing 69% of its bitumen demand and importing 31% of its bitumen demand from other sources if we see the variation in the uh, the monthly variation in bitumen consumption of previous year, current year, and the monthly growth, we can see that the monthly variation is main uh, is primarily because of the seasonal variation uh, like monsoon and all. And also, this current year, the congestion is affected for the pandemic. It is a uh, pandemic. However, the we have recovered the 90% of our consumption which we had consumed in February 2020 in February 2021. What are the different types of bitumen our uh, Indian standards specify? India, in India, we have both modified and unmodified paving grade binders. However, because, because of the high traffic loading and also the change in climatic conditions, Modified binders are being more preferred nowadays for construction of major uh, major roads. We have two types of modified binders: polymer modified binder and rubber modified binder. Polymer modified binder, Indian standard specifies two types of modification: the elastomeric modification and plastomeric modification. However, elastomeric modification is more preferred in the construction. Similarly, in the rubber modified binder, we have two types of binders, crumb rubber modified binder that is TRMB and natural rubber modified binder that is NRMB. In between the, uh, these two, CRMB and NRMB, CRMB is preferred over NRMB for constru construction in pavement. 
so we have seen different types of bitumen are specified by the indian standard now let us see how these binders are characterized first first we are going to discuss about the unmodified binder earlier the binder was graded as per the penetration value at 25 degree centigrade so the penetration grade for example 30 by 40 or 60 by 70 was being used however penetration not being a fundamental property it was unable to provide a fair idea about the binder characterization so in 2006 we have moved from penetration grade to viscosity grade to in order to grade unmodified or paving paving grade bitumen so we now grade the binder as bgx where x is the viscosity value at 60 degree centigrade so for example viscosity of a vgx binder at 60 degree centigrade must range in between x plus minus 20% of x into 100 points so if the binder is vg30 then the viscosity at 60 degree centigrade it should range in between 2400 to 3600 points this 20% tolerance in viscosity value is provided because of the different pressure because of production of binders from different crude oil sources and different uh, production process adopted by the manufacturers so this 20% tolerance is provided in laboratory we can find out the viscosity at 60 degree centigrade using a capillary viscometer now let us see how these unmodified binders are characterized and what are the requirements to be checked by selecting a paving grade binder the unmodified binders are characterized as per the indian standard is 73 2013 is the recent one as per this code you can you can see it it recommends four types of vg bitumen that is vg10 vg20 vg30 and vg40 these binders are selected based on the maximum air temperature of a particular region for example vg40 is selected for a region where maximum air temperature is more than 45 degree centigrade similarly vg10 is suitable for a climatic condition where the maximum air temperature is less than 10 degree centigrade as conventional characterization of along with as absolute viscosity we have penetration flash point softening point these are all the characteristics which are going to check before selecting a bitumen and they should satisfy these criteria as per the indian standard we can also capture the aging behavior of paving grade bitumen by measuring the viscosity ratio and the ductility on rtfo residue rtfo is rolling thin film woven which is used for short term aging of binder do the unmodified binders have been extensively used in india for pavement construction change in traffic density and loading and height and higher temperature variation across different seasons it, it has compelled us to move towards construction of a more durable and sustainable pavement so polymer so we we have shifted to modification of binder so now let us see what is the polymer modified bitumen and how it is characterized the polymer modified bitumen because of its resistance to major pavement distresses such as rutting fatigue thermal cracking and driveling are are being selected to construct a durable pavement and they can carry heavy to very heavy traffic they are also preferred over unmodified bitumen because of its resistance to oxidation though we had moved to viscosity grading for paving grade binder that is unmodified binder long back in 2006 till recently we were using penetration polymer modified bitumen however in 2019 we have adopted more performance oriented code codal provision 
to reflect infill performance of polymer modified binder which was not reflected in the earlier code though in to in 2010 ifc guidelines has introduced ifc sp53 which included the performance bleeding specification but the grading was done as per the penetration value so in is 15462 2019 we are grading the polymer modified binder as per its performance grade so now let us see how the performance grading is done so pg grading <coughs> takes into account both the climatic conditions and traffic conditions a binder is noted as pg xx z minus y by where the climatic conditions are xx and minus y by and traffic conditions are z which is a, which are denoted as shbe and what is this shb i will discuss later for example if grade of the binder is pa 76 b minus 10 then the 76 is average 7 day maximum payment design temperature and minus 10 is the minimum payment design temperature and b is decides how much traffic volume and speed this binder can sustain maximum payment design temperature can be determined using a dynamic shear ohmmeter and the minimum payment design temperature as per the indian standards can be determined as per the fast breaking point value this traffic grading <clears throat> the traffic grading is determined performing multiple stress creep recovery that is msr test using a dynamic shear ohmmeter now let us see how traffic grading is defined we have defined in the indian standards four service conditions that is uh, s h b and e this s s stands for standard h stands for heavy traffic v stands stands for very heavy traffic and e stands for extremely heavy traffic this condition has been defined based on the msr parameter jnr jnr that is the non recoverable click compliance and also and it is selected based on the traffic label and traffic speed uh, the msr test is conducted as two two stress levels 0.1 kpa and 3.2 kpa and jnr at 3.2 kpa is considered for the traffic grading for example if a binder has jnr at 3.2 less than 2 kpa then it is graded as graded as h that 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 means it can sustain heavy traffic uh, traffic service condition and and the traffic label can be 10 to 30 million is uh, equivalent single action load and the traffic speed can be slow moving traffic as 20 to 70 kmph now let us check what are the requirements that are needs to that are need to be checked for pmb the pm the, uh, the polymer modified binder is specification is given as per is 15462 2019 is this code <coughs> suggest use of five types of pmb this pmb 64 minus 10 pmb 70 minus 10 pmb 76 minus 10 pmb 82 minus 10 and pmb 76 minus 22 out of these pmbs pmb 82 minus 10 and Uh, pmb 76 minus 10 are <coughs> are adopted in pavement construction in india pmb uh, 82 minus 10 is mostly preferred for air filled pavement and 76 minus 10 is preferred for national highways express highways etc these are some of the tests which needs to be carried out on the original polymer modified binder along with the conventional tests such as softening point viscosity we are also checking the rheological parameters such as 
Gristel by sin delta, the fla- the phase angle, etc. And the frost breaking po- point is also determined to know the minimum temperature that the binder can sustain. Separation in different uh, separation difference in softening point is also determined to know the uh, phase separation of the manufactured PME. Similarly, some of the tests are to be conducted on RTFO residue, that is short-term mesh binder. Uh, as previously discussed, the JNR parameter is determined from the MSCR test, that is multiple stress P fund recovery test, and this test is conducted on RTFO residue, and it is very important for traffic grading. The JNR parameter, which is used for traffic grading, is also and good indicator of resistance of a binder to permanent defo- deformation. That means if JNR value of a binder is high, the binder has low resistance to rotting. Also, the fatigue parameter, G star multiplied by psi delta, is determined at inter- intermediate temperature to access the <coughs> fatigue resistance of binder. This test is conducted um in dynamic shear geometer using a pressure aging vessel residue binder now let us discuss the other modified bitumen that is crumb rubber modified bitumen crmb the crumb rubber are manufactured by shredding scrap tires these tires from vehicles are non biodegradable and their disposal is hazardous to environment. The types of vehicles that are manufactured, the, the tires of vehicles are manufactured from natural and synthetic rubber. Therefore, can be used in binder modification to improve its properties. Other than being environmental friendly because of using a hazardous environmental waste, the advantages, other advantages of CRMB is resistance to the pavement distresses such as rutting, fatigue, and cracking. And also it is less susceptible to temperature variation. <clears throat> Previous score that uh, uh, in IS15462-2004 specified all types of modifier binder. All... Uh, uh, polymer modifier binder and rubber modifier binder, everything was specified in one code. However, in 2019, a separate code for rubber modified bitumen, which IS 17079, is prescribed. Because PMB and RMB are very different in composition and their performance parameters are also different. These are some of the specifications of crumb rubber that can be used for binder modica- modification. It is specified by IS-1779-2019. The CRMB is graded as per the softening point value. For example, if, if a CRMB is graded as CRMB-55, then the binder has a minimum softening point value of 55 degrees centigrade. Now let us see what I uh, what are the requirements specified for CRMB in IS 17079-2019. This code prescribes two types of <coughs> CRMB, CRMB 55 and CRMB 60, corresponding to the softening minimum softening point value of 55 and 60. Along with the conventional characterization, penetration, softening point, viscosity, etc., the elastic recovery of half thread of the binder is also determined, which is a good indicator of the elasticity of the binder. Here also, to check the phase separation of the produced CRMB, separation difference in softening point is uh, measured. And these are some of the tests that is uh, 
change in softening point after aging and reduction in penetration uh, penetration value after aging and also reduction in elastic recovery these are checked on the thin film woven residue uh, thin film woven test on residue and also along with the conventional test the course uh, requires the biological parameters such as gister by sindel to be tested both on original binder and both on subtermest um, binder so in india we have a practice of using both unmodified and modified binder due to rapid growth in traffic and change in environmental and climatic conditions use of polymer modified binder is getting momentum in air filled terminal and major roads such as expressways and national highways however application of crmb is very much limited in construction till now with this i conclude my presentation and hand over the session to our moderator dr pravin it's over to you thank you for your attention